State has not lost since. Wolfpack felt like they missed a lot of open looks in that game, but very conscious as well of trying to keep Maya Dodson not quite as active on the interior as she was in that contest. NC State starting out in man-to-man -man defense. Key for them defensively is to limit dribble penetration, especially by Olivia Miles. Here's Mabry on the attack, committed to the air, and got the roll. Notre Dame on the board first here in this Sweet 16 matchup. Taking a look at our Capital One starting lineups for NC State. So much experience. Reina Perez, Kai Crutchfield, Jakia Brown-Turner, Kayla Jones, and Elisa Kinane. As Perez can't rattle in a three, a nice job by Citron to guide the rebound over to her teammate. Miles and Sonia Citron, such an impressive freshman duo. What a great save by Olivia Miles. She got that by inches. And a little out of control, lost it. Nice footwork by Crutchfield to stay in bounds off the steal. Dodson working against Kanane in the post. Brown Turner gets it to Kanane. Blocked from behind, another chance, can't finish it. Good D on the interior from the Fighting Irish. Those are the shots that Elisa Kunain and NC State are going to need to make in this game. You see Notre Dame starting five with Citron and Miles, the two freshmen, joining Mabry, Westbeld, and then Maya Dodson, who is awaiting to see if she may have one more season of eligibility at Notre Dame. Otherwise, she would be the only player leaving the program at the end of this run. Great high hands by Kayla Jones to disrupt the pass that would have been to an open player inside. Here is Jones. Spinning, dishing, crutch field. Plenty of time to operate. Will pull up. Doesn't get the roll, but does get the whistle. And Kai Crutchfield will go to the line. The LIV in just her second season at the helm has done such a fantastic job turning this program around quickly and taking it right back to where it's been for decades under Muffin McGraw. Last year, just 10 and 10. This season, a very live team in the Sweet 16. And Wes Moore in his ninth season at NC State. His team in a fourth straight Sweet 16, 0-3 in the previous three appearances. NC State has not been to the Elite Eight since 1998. They are 1-13 all time in this round. Here's Miles, carving through, couldn't whip it in. And Kanane, outstanding one-handed rebound. And, and good job getting a body on Dodson. Dodson was terrific on the offensive glass in their previous meeting. Oh, nice find from Perez, and Brown Turner lays it in. NC State riding a 12-game winning streak. You see Brown Turner averaging 12 points, four rebounds in the tournament thus far. Miles, pull-up jumper, rolls in for Olivia Miles. Notre Dame was working on that yesterday in their practice, understanding that NC State was going to go behind the screens, knowing that the pull-up jumper would be there for the guards. Miles in the final five for the Nancy Lieberman Award for the best point guard in the nation. Miles hits the deck there. Crutchfield can't finish it. Mabry the rebound. We've seen Notre Dame defensively play both man and zone, switching it up, trying to keep NC State off balance. Mabry creating space for the little jumper. You calling her her little or the jumper little? Just the just the <laughs> jumper. <laughs> Jones, no. Rebound saved by Citron. Here's Miles shoveling. Westbell doesn't get the roll. And Kanane another rebound. Kayla Jones was hurt in the first round of the tournament last season, which really altered things for NC State. Westmore calls her the glue of this team. Trying to go one-on-one -on, -one on the interior here and couldn't finish around Westbell. Mabry gives it up. Citron on the attack, up, under, and off, but gets the whistle. And the freshman, Sonia Citron, will shoot two. 
Notre Dame's guards are dangerous because they can create their own shots and there's no better way to create space than with the step back. Check out the distance, four inches. It's all the space she needs, oh, four feet. That's the space she needs to get her shot off. First foul on Kayla Jones as Citron misses the first free throw. We were talking to E.L. Ivey about Sonia, and she said she may be the most unselfish player I have ever been around. Talked about how smooth the freshman's game is, how versatile she is. Citron, the ACC Rookie of the Year. 7-3 Notre Dame lean, and before the shot, we have a whistle. And it's going to be a foul against Mabry. That'll be her first. Crutchfield was wide open on the wing. Perez got it to her late. Here's Kanane, one-on-one. -on -one. Now the double comes, trying to find space, able to squeeze it in. NC State has to look for that. They have to look to get the ball into Cunane because she can score, but she can also pass when the double team comes. A little bit more patience offensively there by the Wolfpack. Dodson can't finish it. Good D from Cunane. Perez. Wiggles between defenders. Here's Brown Turner trying to take the freshman off one leg and finish it. That's a tough shot. So trying to play pretty good defense on that possession. Four straight points from NC State tied at seven. A trip to the Elite Eight on the line. Mabry, no. Wrong rebound to Kayla Jones. As Holly talked about, Dara Mabry coming off seven threes in the second round against Oklahoma. Perez can't hit. Jones whacks it out of bounds. It's going to stay here with NC State, last deflected by Notre Dame. Olivia Miles coming off with a little jumper. We know that is going to be true. And then for NC State, they're looking to establish their post game. Kunane with a step through. Reactions from Notre Dame after their big victory over NC State. Back in February, and yeah, they were partying in that locker room. E.L. Ivy getting into it. <laughs> Just a wonderful scene after a big win from the Fighting Irish. As we check out our game track brought to you by Adidas. You see the stats from that contest. Huge game from Maya Dodson, who dives on the floor here. We also saw Notre Dame so keen the second chance points. And Rebecca, when we talked to the NC State players, they really pointed out the emphasis of keeping Notre Dame off the offensive glass in this contest. And particularly Maya Dotson, she had seven of those offensive boards. Kanane, guarded by Dotson, one-on-one. -on -one. Kanane goes up, in, puts the foul. Great patience. Great patience by Kanane. She got the ball, waited to see if the double team was going to come, and it doesn't. So then she makes her move. Patience, nothing's coming, what do I got? And then goes right at Dodson to get the foul called. It was interesting, Rebecca, talking with Elisa yesterday and her saying she has to be better about when she's one-on-one -on -one shooting, being in that attack mode. So far today, when Notre Dame hasn't helped, she's insisted on getting to the hook. Yes, she has. A 7-0 NC State run to jump in front. Miles connects on a three. The poise freshman Olivia Miles. How about her patience as well? Defender hedges out, hard hedge, and before the guard can recover, Miles takes the opportunity to shoot. Brudgefield trying to get it into Kanane. Somehow was able to, and the foul is called against Notre Dame. <laughs> Rebecca, I just love the composure of Olivia Miles. Just a hesitation, looking for her teammates, but still getting her shot. You mentioned it earlier, when the defense goes under the ball screens, she has the freedom to shoot, and she's taking advantage of it. And that is a huge foul against Maya Dodson, her second personal, so she goes to the bench for Notre Dame as they send in Anaya Peoples. 
That one's going to deflect into the arms of Crutchfield. Another chance here for NC State. Diamond Johnson in off the bench. She can score in a hurry and in bunches. Down turner, little trouble with Citron. Shot clock down to seven. Johnson gets rejected. Peoples and Citron were there. Nice defensive stand there from the Irish. Peoples stops on a dime, can't flip it in, and Jones hauls in the rebound. 10-10, first quarter action, this Sweet 16 matchup. Johnson, great delivery, Brown. Turner can't knock down the three. Citron has it taken away by Johnson. Jones gets it to go on the second opportunity there for NC State. NC State had one of those exact same plays in their second round game against K-State. Just coming in, you don't see me. I'm going to take the ball right out of your hands. The benefits of being small. NC State, a number one seed for the second straight year. Last year was the first time in program history. And another turnover here from Notre Dame. Here is Johnson weaving around Miles right to the cup for two. Miles already with one personal. An 11-3 run for NC State over the last three minutes and 45 seconds. Peoples getting extended run here with Dotson on the bench with those two fouls. Miles will pull. Can't hit. Rebound. Fought for, one by Brunel. Lesbeld short on a three. And the rebound to Kinane. Four boards already for Elisa Kinane. Johnson left alone, short. Notre Dame controls. Notre Dame is so dangerous when they're out in transition. It's a win for NC State if they make them set up and take some time off the clock. West Bell trying to find space. Couldn't slip it in with the left hand. Here is NC State pushing. And to follow up on your point, Rebecca, Neil Ivey in the last huddle asking her team to run, to run. If you run, we will find offense. Kanane can't finish it. Let's see if Notre Dame runs here, huh? Citron, a little hesitation, then some explosion. But again, NC State able to get back and get set up. Miles on the attack, cups it in. Notre Dame's getting pretty decent lanes to the basket. That one they were able to convert, but there was a stretch NC State was scoring, and then of course Notre Dame can't run because NC State can get back in their date. Wow, Brown Turner just beating Citron off the dribble. Shakia Brown Turner is four of five from the floor in this opening quarter. She has eight points. About a 16 second difference, game and shot clock. Miles giving it up. West Bell giving it back. For now, ball fake and a travel as Notre Dame turns it over. Fifth turnover of the quarter for the Fighting Irish. We saw Miles with the mid-range game, the three in here, just taking it inside, a little flip-up finish on the drive. She is so cool and composed out there, especially for a freshman. She makes the goggles work too, right? She said it's part <laughs> yeah. of her look, doesn't want to go to contacts because it's part of her identity now on the court. No need to change. Only she and Caitlin Clark averaged 13 points, five rebounds, seven assists this season as Notre Dame comes up with a steal. Mabry gets it off, but it is not on target, and that'll do it for the first quarter. NC State a four-point lead at the end of one. Holly's going to talk to Niel when we come back. Second quarter action next. Started the second quarter moments ago. Holly Rowe caught up with Notre Dame head coach Niel Ivey. Well, Coach Ivy, you keep telling your team in the huddle to run, run. How can transition help you right now? Well, I think that's our brand of basketball. Um, you know, Monday night we scored about 40 points in transition. Right now I think we're surveying, and we need to go. You know, so we got to outlet and get, get stops and outlet and run. All right, Jakia Brown-Turner, that matchup's causing you problems defensively. What do you change? Yeah, well, I'm going to try to throw some new bodies on her. Um, she's a great she's a great driver, so we have to really rely on our help side. we got to lock up one-on-one, -on -one, but we got to rely on our help side. Right now it's not there. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Well, let's take a look at our thrilling drives brought to you by Nissan. 
Niel quite literally had a thrilling drive yesterday. Yes, she went to Philadelphia after practicing with her team to go watch her son, Jaden, and Purdue take on St. Peter's, a thriller. You can see mom certainly into the action. Her son, Jaden, just missing a look at the buzzer that would have tied the game, but St. Peter's ran, continued to the Elite Eight, and it's been quite a ride for Niel Holly. Yeah, she's been juggling that life with Jaden since he was a little boy. He's been around this program his entire life. We remember him running out onto the court when Enrique Agumbawale hit those shots to win the national championship, and here he is having his own March Madness moment. She does say it is gut-wrenching to watch him. She said, my heart is out on that floor. It's very difficult for her, and she said, I gave him a big hug after they lost last night, and he's flown home from with the team to Purdue. Well, and, and Rebecca, that's at any age, right? That's that's youth ball, that's... Oh, it, it, it could be a rec league <laughs> game. As a parent, you sit there, and your stomach is in knots all day long. Nice bucket from Peoples to start the second quarter of the Sweet 16 matchup. Remember, Maya Dodson on the bench right now for Notre Dame with two fouls. Shot clock down to three. Brown Turner has it stripped good hands. Dara Mabry trying to bust it to the cup. She does to tie this game at 16. Good job by Notre Dame defensively in a 2-3 zone that time. Active taking away the inside. Active hands by Mabry. Mabry now with six points. Jada Boyd in off the bench for NC State. Goes cross court. Brown Turner. Off the mark on a three. Boyd, the offensive rebound, and the putback. Jada Boyd, such a key piece off the bench for the Wolfpack. Two great plays by Boyd. To find that weak side out pass against the zone, and then to get in there to get the offensive board. Averaging eight and a half points, six rebounds off the bench thus far in this tournament. Prohaska in great delivery to Peoples. What a pass from Abby Prohaska off the bench for the Irish. Peoples got... Good position, but good position doesn't matter if you don't have a player who can deliver the basketball to you. Spoken like a frustrated post. <laughs> <laughs> Two assists on the first couple of possessions of the quarter for Notre Dame after they had none in the first quarter. They did have five turnovers. Good hands, West Bell knocks it out of bounds, and five on the shot clock. In the 2-3 zone, you have to have active hands up top, and Mabry is able to do that. Deflects the ball, taking it the other way where Notre Dame is so good. Get out in transition and score. And then right there. You just got to get it to the right hand. If you send it to the wrong side, it's a turnover. And all the, the posting work goes for naught. Boyd, baseline jumper is good. Jada Boyd, who Wes Moore has told us is the X Factor for our team. Delivering thus far in the second. Mabry, look out! How do you leave her? How do you leave her? <laughs> Nine points for Dara Mabry, her sister, Michaela, and assistant. Marina playing overseas. Having a very effective start to her WNBA career. Wes Bell collects the rebound, pushing for Notre Dame. Good start to this second quarter for the Irish. Wes Bell on a triple. Transition offense. Since the start of the ACC tournament, Wes Bell has been on a tear, averaging 15 and a half points on 58% shooting. Was first team all conference a season ago. Out of bounds off of Camille Hobby. And now Kanane and Reina Perez are going to come back in for Westmore. Distance matters, Ryan. What are we settling in at? Seven feet away. Dara Mabry, man, you cannot be that far because she will drain the shot and then Westbelt stepping into the trailer three. This is a Notre Dame team that can fill it up from deep. They've started the second quarter five of five from the floor after they were five of 14 in the first. Mabry looking for space, lost the handle. Perez has it. The get ahead in traffic and a foul called against Notre Dame as Prohaska and Peoples were there. And after that run by Notre Dame, Kanane back on the floor. That was a difference. You know, she's just such an imposing presence inside that you have to send multiple defenders to, even if she doesn't have the basketball. 
Foul called against Prohaska, her first. A trip to the Elite Eight on the line. Winner will face the winner of UConn and Indiana, who will play following this game here on ESPN. Kanane battling with West Belt underneath. In the corner, Johnson can't get it to go. Follows it up with an offensive rebound. Another chance here for the Wolfpack. You got to fake away and then give the ball inside to Kanane. Johnson gets another look. That one she hits. One thing you know, she's not going to stop shooting. If she misses, she's not going to stop shooting. That's what she's in for. That's her job. She's a scorer. Well, she was 6 for 23. <laughs> the first meeting between these teams. A game in which Kanane got just five field goal attempts as Miles hits another. A little bunny hop, reeling it in. And 10 points for Olivia Miles and smiles from the Notre Dame bench. Smiles for Miles. Ooh, all right, nice. You know, this is our first broadcast of the tournament. You're already breaking out the rhymes, huh? <laughs> West Bell knocks it away. Miles has it taken away by Johnson. How about the energy plays by Johnson? The smallest player on the floor. Yeah, offensive boards. West Bell comes up with a steal. Notre Dame is six for six in the quarter. Mabry gives it up. Great look. People's patience bucket. Over and over again yesterday, Notre Dame worked on how they were going to attack when NC State went under the screens, and they're doing such a good job of it here in the first half. Six-point Notre Dame lead. They trailed 16-12 at the end of the first. Johnson dishes out. Perez wide open on a three. Those two can play very well together. Both capable of playing on or off the ball as Miles spins it in. How about the freshman Olivia Miles? Looks like she was holding it out there. See this basketball? I'm going to score this basketball. It was a children's book. <laughs> it's funny because Neil Ivy afterwards was in fact holding her arm out to pantomime the move. <laughs> Perez, not that time. Citron off and running. Oh, Citron, what a move. And Crutchfield called for the foul. She'll shoot two. Citron will when we get back. Let me show you the basketball. Let me show you what I'm going to do with the basketball, Olivia Miles. All right, Al, thank you very much. How about this second quarter for Notre Dame thus far? 20 points now. Eight of eight from the floor, three of three from three. Did you like how we actually got to see the points change live there, too? <laughs> that's pretty impressive. That's next level. I mean, it, that's the pace Notre Dame wants to play. They want to push, score in their transition or in their secondary, play downhill. Let's get a little on NC State's most recent huddle from Holly. Guys, they want to make a change defensively and pay more attention to Olivia Miles. He kept talking about number five is hurting us, communicate more. They also want to get the ball into Kanane a little bit more, not fall in love with that three. Look for her on the lob, and there it is right there. Yeah, Holly on cue. Kanane, the footwork, can't finish it, did not get the whistle. Remember, NC State was leading 16-12 at the end of the first quarter. Notre Dame has just brought it offensively here in the second. The reason NC State wants to get it into Kanane, they are 3 of 18 outside of the paint. 8 of 12 now inside the paint. Wow. Impressed with that map and the staff. <laughs> Miles, another three. She is feeling it. A swaggy backpedal to the defensive end for Olivia Miles, who has 15 in the first half. What a delight she is to watch. Out of bounds off Notre Dame. Going to stay here with NC State. Olivia Miles, how you feeling about your offense right now? All right, so the defense goes over the screen, but then gets caught up on her own player. Another three, Jones with that awkward release, can't get it to go. Here's Miles pushing pace. Miles, confidence in her gate. 
Miles, step back three, not that time. Air balls it out of bounds. The NCAA Men's Basketball Championship will lead eight begins tonight with coverage beginning at 5 Eastern, 2 Pacific on TBS. For more information on Game Times and Networks, go to NCAA.com. Now keep in mind, Notre Dame is doing this right now with Maya Dodson on the bench for an extended period of time after picking up her second personal. This foul, I believe, is going to go against Prohaska, yeah, and it will be her second. Yeah, she's getting physical with Kanane. Now Peoples will check back in for Prohaska. I mean, how about that Neil Ivey is perhaps going to be able to go this entire second quarter with Dotson on the bench. And they're not hurting him. Exactly. And Dotson was the key piece in the first meeting between these teams. A three-point Notre Dame win back in early February. Kanane, what a move. She's been effective thus far in this first half when she gets touches. Yeah, you just got to keep finding a way to get her a touch inside. She will make the right decision. Kanane with seven points. She stayed a plus four in the paint. Citron. Nearly lost it. Throws it away. Good deep from Crutchfield and Perez. Johnson dishing. Kanane the easy lay. I love it. You know I love it when the big girl runs the floor. Kanane, that's just hard work. Nine points for Lisa Kanane. Peoples looking inside to Westbell. Trying to seek an angle. Didn't have it. Good D from Kanane. Jones pushing pace. NC State with a little rhythm now. Johnson penetrates, scoops, can't finish. And Peoples the rebound. That's where you got to recognize your team's a little tired, and it's time to take some time off the clock on the offensive end. Oh, what a dish. Miles to Westbound for the finish. Underhand softball pitch. Olivia Miles is in her bag. But a 16-second difference game in shot clock as that's thrown away out of bounds. And Notre Dame can just about hold for a final shot here. We see Miles do this a lot, just playing with the defense and flicks the underhand delivery to West Bell. Miles with a cool 15 points here. With a cool everything. <laughs> In this Sweet 16 matchup, winner will face the winner of UConn, Indiana. That game tips at two here on ESPN. Citron, Brown Turner fell, thwarted the path of Citron. And that will be just the second team foul against NC State. Overall, a really cleanly played game in terms of fouls, other than that. <laughs> That's right. Here's Miles, flagging it down. Seven seconds left in the half. Miles, waiting. Miles, will she get it off? She barely does, and that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. Notre Dame outscores NC State 26 to 14 in the second. And it's the Fighting Irish who have an eight point lead at the half over one seed, NC State. Let's head over to Holly now with Olivia Miles. Olivia, this is your first Sweet 16, but what allowed you to get so comfortable so early? Yeah, you know, they were going under the screens. Um, I felt like I was just, you know, reading uh, reading the ball screen. I was going under, I was shooting my threes, I was hitting them. So I just stayed confident. Yeah, you're getting your points, but you're doing a great job distributing. How are you keeping your teammates involved? Yeah, I mean, since I'm scoring, it's drawing attention. Um, and then I'll just, you know, double to Maddie, Dara. I'm just making reads again, looking for my teammates. Thank you. Well, it has been an incredible run thus far in the NCAA tournament for Olivia Miles. It's continuing here in the Sweet 16. 15 points in the first half for the freshman. No doubt about that. Ryan Rucco, the Hall of Fame, Rebecca Lobo, welcoming you back courtside. Meanwhile, for NC State, Rebecca, Elisa Kanane been effective when she's gotten the rock. Yeah, this is an NC State team that has been effective when they got in touches in the paint, and primarily to Elisa Kanane, but they have not gotten enough of them. 
They are struggling from outside the paint, as you see there, three of 19. This is an NC State team on the season, 37% from the three-point line, which ranked 10th in the country. They struggled in the first half. Let's take a look at our first half stats. They are brought to you by Geico. And you see Miles with those 15 points. Notre Dame, 10 of 13 from the floor in that second quarter. They hit their first nine shots of the second. NC State fell in the Sweet 16 a season ago to Indiana, who will play UConn in the next game here as Crutchfield gets denied by Dodson. Back in after two early fouls in the first half. Citron can't finish. Dodson blows the bunny. And Kanane off the rebound. Dodson should be energized, though, here in the second half because of her limited minutes in the first as a result of foul trouble. Played just six minutes because of that foul trouble. Kayla Jones kicks it out. Here's Brown Turner. Couldn't finish it. Patience. They need more patience. Go off of two feet and finish inside. Here is Miles. Bouncing away from the hedge. West Bell. Bounce it out. Notre Dame patient with this offensive set. Miles attacks, reverses, and gets it to go. And that gives the MJ shrug afterwards. Putting the defense in a bind, running the horn set. Defender doesn't know which way she's going to go, which way she should cheat. 17 for Miles. That three drops in for Kayla Jones and a big one for NC State. Forty to thirty-three, Notre Dame in front. Good battle there, Kanane and Dodson. Dodson able to get to it and lay it in. And you want to tire out Kanane and make her work a little bit more on the defensive end. Dodson can do that. Great job with the post up, physical play inside. First bucket of the game for Maya Dodson. Here's Perez, attacking, dishing, good movement, Crutchfield, she got it, on a three, in her career, 20 for 32 from three in the NCAA tournament. A little more confidence from the perimeter game right now of NC State. Six point game, Notre Dame had a 12 point lead in the fourth quarter of the first meeting between these teams, and then NC State ended up making it a one-point contest, a one-possession contest down the stretch. Brown Turner around the screen from Kanane, gets it back to her. On the attack, she lays it in. Better rhythm here for NC State on the offensive end. 11 for Kanane. She averaged just eight and a half through the first two games of this tournament. Averaging 13 and a half per game on the season. West Bell given space. No. Good box out there and a foul called against Citron. We talked about how this freshman has tremendous confidence and swag. Tough shot. How does she feel about it? <laughs> Give him the shrug. Just talking with her yesterday too, Rebecca. She has such a presence to her for a freshman. Talked about being a leader regardless of age, and you can tell that she already is. Mabry, the hesitation, the attack, and the denial from Kayla Jones. Smaller guard goes in the lane, and the bigger guard is there. It's it be easy pickings. Here's Miles working behind West Bell. Miles. Oh, what a dime to West Bell on the finish. Just a gorgeous pass. And the big has to stay an extra beat because Miles was pulling and scoring off of that in the first half, and then she reads it perfectly. 44-38, Notre Dame in front of NC State. 
The Sweet 16 matchup, first of four games on our ESPN Family of Networks in today's Sweet 16 action. Perez with three to shoot. Perez shakes Mabry, floats it up and off. Jones nearly had the offensive rebound, but nice job by Mabry to slap it away. Yeah, just quick active hands. The shovel for Miles. Miles thought about pulling. Looking for some help now. Miles, another dime. West Belt extra feed. Citron will fire. No. Long rebound is going to be flagged down by Crutchfield. Canade. And a whistle. And perhaps, do we have an injured member of NC State? Look like Kayla Jones might have been banged up. She goes to the bench. We'll see if we have an update from Holly in a moment. Well, moments ago, Kayla Jones, who Westmore calls the glue of his team, headed back to the locker room. We'll get an update as soon as we have more. Let's take a look at today's Be Your Own Champion brought to you by Champion. How about Olivia Myers? She's been absolutely masterful and how she's read things on the offensive end of the floor, knowing when to shoot, knowing when to pass, pushing the pace. Four assists right now, and just as impressively, only one turnover. The amount she handles the basketball for Notre Dame to only have one miscue so, so far, it's pretty remarkable. Let's check in with Holly. Well, Olivia Miles is so special, something Neil Ivy recognized immediately. She said, we are catering our entire offense to her. That is facing the floor, getting her out in transition, letting her make her magic. She said, we have actually become one mind. She is me out there on the floor. We are one. They watch film together. They talk about what shots she can take to be successful and how she can get her other teammates involved. And Neil said she had all of the pressure of being a point guard at Notre Dame on her shoulders. I had all the pressure of being the coach, and we have come together to handle all of that. Most assists through the first three NCAA tournament games since 2000. Some pretty great names on that list. And Miles, number three and counting. As Dotson able to finish, an eight-point Notre Dame lead. Third quarter action here in Bridgeport. Remember, Kayla Jones got hurt in the first round last season for NC State. It was a big missing piece as they then lost to the Sweet 16 and a three-second violation here against Kanae. And Ryan, we saw him in the last possession when Maya Dodson faced up and drove. This is not a fast-paced game, and this has been a tiring game. Her bounce, again, because of the limited minutes in the first half, might make a difference in the second. 8-2 edge in the paint in this third quarter for Notre Dame. West Bell separates from Boyd and finishes as Boyd hit the deck. It's a 10-point lead for the Fighting Irish. There's a West Bell, nine points, eight boards. There's been a real toughness about Notre Dame on both ends of the floor here today. A 6-0 Notre Dame run. Oh, what a spin. Brown Turner with a beautiful pirouette. it out. West Bell dumping it a little too far for Dotson and Notre Dame turns it over as Sam Burnell will check in. He's still to come this evening on ESPN. We'll have Tennessee, Louisville, South Dakota, Michigan, but before that we'll have Indiana, UConn here on ESPN. The Women's NCAA Championship Sweet 16 all day long on ESPN in the app. Boyd unable to finish. Brown Turner gets fouled. Kanane a little shaken up, and free throws coming for NC State. Nice set by NC State to clear the right side of the floor for Boyd. She wasn't able to finish initially, but they run the stagger on the left side to clear her room for her to drive. Boyd was efficient in the first half. It was interesting talking with Wes Moore earlier this season about his team's hunger. 
After falling in the Sweet 16 a season ago, bringing back their entire starting five, he said when they were getting their ACC tournament championship rings done, they were going to put back-to-back -back Sweet 16s on the ring. And the leadership of NC State, the player leadership that is, said, no, we want more. As Crutchfield misses a three, they are not satisfied with ending right here and did not want that to be acknowledged on their rings. One in 13 all time in Sweet 16s. NC State has not been to the Elite Eight since 1998 as Miles just whacks that out of bounds with velocity. NC State's done a really nice job on the offensive glass. 10-0 boards. This is a story in the first meeting. Notre Dame beat them on the offensive glass. NC State's taking care of that. They just hasn't, haven't been nearly as efficient offensively. But we have seen where they can go from not hitting shots to hitting them in bunches in a hurry. Nice D from Dotson there. Here comes Notre Dame. Miles the lead. Citron lays it in. Puts the foul. Freshman to freshman and a chance for three. Really good players make the difficult look easy, and that happens here. Olivia Miles coming down. She knows exactly where her teammate is, but she takes the ball to the side of the floor so that Citron has the direct path when she catches the ball to go in for the layup. Kayla Jones coming back to the bench for NC State. Obviously a good sign for the Wolfpack. Citron, six points, five rebounds. Neil Ivey has asked Citron to take on more of a scoring role second half of this season. Perez, baseline jumper, won't go. Reina Perez just one for six from the floor. Miles with some haste. Miles threw it too hot for Dodson and out of bounds. It was the right read, though. It was the right read and right player to try to deliver it to. Just had too much heat on it. You know, Rebecca, you're talking about it being the right read, but Olivia Miles coming off the screen also exhausts Alyssa Kunain because she has to make that hard hedge and recover. So when you talk about having legs late, that's going to be a factor. Yeah, without question. That's a difficult defend for Kunain or any big to try to get out there quickly and recover to your own. Jada Boyd has looked good in her minutes so far. Yeah, she has been really good. Limited minutes in the first half, but she was two for two from the floor. Boyd, six points now. Eight-point game. A trip to the Elite Eight on the line. Prohaska in for Notre Dame. Mabry on the bench at the moment. Miles with seven to shoot. Miles will fire. No. Rebound, Kinane. Nice box out there. A chance for NC State to creep a little closer. Here's Perez. Have not seen Diamond Johnson yet in this third. Boyd. And a foul is going to go against Westfeld. That's just the third team foul against Notre Dame. You mentioned Diamond Johnson not playing yet here. In two of eight in the game. And, and NC State has been so much more efficient when they've gotten the looks and the touches inside. Brown Turner out of the double. Good movement here. Crutchfield alone. She got out of three. It's a five point game. Kai Crutchfield, they call her at this time of year. Two for three from downtown. Notre Dame yet to hit from three in this third. Giving it up. Cornell lost it. Citron trying to make something of it. She ties off the window. Ten seconds left in the quarter. Brown Turner with five. Crutchfield with two. Crutchfield has to get it off. Can't get it to go. And that'll do it for the third quarter. Olivia Miles in Notre Dame, a seven-point lead after three. We'll hear from head coach Wes Moore of NC State with Howie when we come back. Welcome back to 
of Bridgeport here with NC State coach Wes Moore. And coach, what have you been doing so intentionally since the second half started? Your offense feels different. Well, I don't know. We just, we've settled for tough shots. We got to, again, Notre Dame's doing a great job defensively, but we got to make sure when we penetrate, we're making good decisions. We're reading the D. Uh, we got to get Elisa most touches whenever we can because she's being very efficient. But, uh, you know, again, just being on the aggressive, being attacking, but make good decisions with it. How do you get her more post touches? Well, they're making it difficult on us, but again, uh, got to move her a little bit, move her around. Don't let her just stand in one spot. And uh, then we got to make sure we're ready to feed her because she's not going to be open long. You better hit her quick. Thank you, Coach. All right, thanks, Holly. I think NC State's guards need to be better with their ball fakes. Fake and then get it into Kanane, because as he said, she's not going to be open long, and there have been multiple times where they're trying to get it in, and they can't quite fake, fake the zone and then get it inside to your big girl. Kanane, no field goals last seven minutes. Paige Becker is getting ready to take on Indiana next here on ESPN. The NCAA Women's Championship presented by Capital One continues next weekend. Final Four Special Friday. April 1st at 6 Eastern on ESPN, then the Final Four, Friday at 7 and 9.30 Eastern on ESPN. All access Saturday at 1 on ESPN Plus, and the championship special Sunday at 7 on ESPN, and then the championship game begins at 8 Eastern on ESPN Sunday. All games are on the ESPN Networks and ESPN app. One app, one tap? That's right. You can figure it out in just one tap. <laughs> if you're Rebecca, sometimes you need two or three. I need multiple. Yeah. Brian Rucco, the Hall of Famer, Rebecca Lobo, Holly Rowe, and Andrea Carter. Happy to be with you for this Sweet 16 matchup. A trip to the Elite Eight on the line where NC State has not been since 1998. Oh, what a steal from Crutchfield. Like a defensive lineman on an interception. Johnson in for NC State. Brown Turner had a look in the corner, didn't take it, and now nearly throws it away. Still plenty of time for the Wolfpack to operate. Johnson on the attack. Lost it out of bounds to Notre Dame. Yeah, Brown Schroeder needed to take that shot. She had the time and space for it because Johnson had the baseline dribble penetration. And you can see Wes more than yelling at Diamond Johnson. Be tight with it, talking about the handle after that turnover. Here's Mabry. Cintron unable to finish. Kanane the board. Elisa Kanane with eight rebounds now. Brown Turner bounces out. Boyd. Step back jumper is good. It's a five-point game. Boyd is an elite-level talent, and she's a player who can get her own shot off. She will be key here in the fourth for NC State. Little full court pressure being applied now by NC State. And nearly a steal. Yep, it will be one. Crutchfield comes up with it. One on one with Miles. Crutchfield spins it in. Plus the foul. Ryan, earlier this season, we saw NC State with a monumental comeback against Louisville, and it started on the defensive end of the floor. They extended their pressure. They got more active up top, and they got possessions like this. Turnovers into scores. Kai Crutchfield with three steals now, two at the start of this fourth. She talked to us yesterday about how her entire focus is on the defensive end. How she takes playing defense personally. And it's not a matter of when, but if someone's going to score on her. So far in the fourth, they aren't. Crutchfield has NC State within two. Outstanding defense from Kai Crutchfield to begin this fourth quarter. NC State on a 10-2 run going back to the end of the third. They have made this... A two-point game, 8.35 to go in the fourth quarter of this Sweet 16 matchup, Holly. That Kai Crutchfield feeds on defense. Well, she was watching the last dance and learned how Dennis Rodman used to watch rebounds come off the rim, nowhere to be in position. So she has started watching tape. So we see a nice bucket from Miles. She started watching tape on how defenders' feet are. She said, I can tell the way their feet are, how they're going to come off on a certain play. She is living that, but it's good from uh, the last dance of Dennis Rodman. What a great idea. Also an ESPN production, so we don't <laughs> mind that. Yeah. 
Johnson, hesitation, explosion, rejection as Dodson was there tracking her. And a great timeout by Nia Livey. Her team had a couple of turnovers, needed to settle them down, got the ball into Miles' hands, and Dodson, man, she's got length, she's big. Great job on the block. Three blocks now for Dodson. Turnover here, Westbell chugging along, all the way in for two. Four straight out of the timeout has Wes Moore hanging his head for a moment after NC State had just cut it to two. Johnson, the Rutgers transfer. Came to NC State because she wanted to be on a stage like this. In the corner, Brown Turner rims out. Rebound hauled in by Peoples. Here's Miles dashing ahead, dishing. Mabry didn't have the space, and we'll settle it down. She didn't have the four feet from the first quarter. <laughs> Miles surveying. Here's Dotson. Six to shoot. Westbill giving it up. Three to shoot. Miles going to have to create. Miles a bomb. No. And the rebound flagged down by Peoples. Another chance here for Notre Dame. Just grazed the rim off the backboard. Miles around the back, scooping it up and off. Dodson is there for the foul. Notre Dame did a great job taking advantage of Diamond Johnson's small size defensively. Two offensive rebounds. You mentioned the activity from Dodson, who played just six minutes in the first half because of foul trouble. Dodson again with that activity. Notre Dame on a 6-0 run after that timeout from Neil Levy. Miles. Giving it up. Seven to shoot. How about Crutchfield? Another steal. Crutchfield all the way in for two. That's three steals in the quarter for Kai Crutchfield doing everything she can. Crutchfield, Perez, Kayla Jones, Kanane all could be playing in their final collegiate game. Miles in and out was halfway down. Here comes Johnson zipping into the front court. Finds the trailer. Kanane gets back. And Alisa Kanane will shoot two to try and make this a four-point game. Kai Crutchfield, the graduate student, doing all she can to have her career continue for one more game. She has been outstanding here, in particular this fourth quarter defensively. Dodson finally picks up her third foul after picking up two in the first quarter. Did not play the entire second. It's interesting the difference when you talk about experience and whether or not this could be the end of the road when it comes to these two teams Rebecca because for Notre Dame the only player whose final game it might be is Maya Dodson waiting to see if she gets another year of eligibility for NC State this is it for four of their five starters Brown Turner the only one who will come back pressure from NC State and a steal Perez a big three too strong Kanane able to save it. Another chance for the Wolfpack. Down just four after two Kanane free throws. Kanane fighting off contact. Couldn't slip it in. Got the whistle. If it's Dodson, it'll be her fourth. Kanane has been a rock. She has been an absolute rock all game long for NC State on the offensive end of the floor. They'll call it number two on Westbeld. And Kanane, a second team All American a season ago, first team All ACC this season. And this is big for a big. She's an outstanding free throw shooter. Bomb on her feet. Kanane hits both again. The projected number five pick in this year's WNBA draft has made it a two point game. Pressure again from NC State. Here comes Mabry. Miles sees the gap. Citron meets Kanane. 
NC State able to get back and set. Back a two-man game with Olivia Miles and a big. She makes the right decision. Miles with 19 points. There is the two-man game with Westbell. One to shoot. Westbell, did she get it off? I don't believe she did. A shot clock violation as Notre Dame turns it over. And a timeout. 4.29 to go in the fourth quarter of this Sweet 16 matchup. Emotions high, a lot on the line. And Notre Dame leading by two. What's at stake with a two-point game with under five minutes to go? Well, Notre Dame looking for its first Elite Eight appearance since 2019. NC State would have its first Elite Eight appearance since 1998. Let's check in with Holly. Well, guys, Neil Ivey asked her team to improve their spacing. She gave them several offensive options, but at the end of the timeout, she looked at the team and said, listen, breathe, everyone. Take a deep breath right now. She needs this young group to settle down right now and perform, make quick decisions, and run their offense. Because, of course, Holly, especially the freshmen, they have not been in this moment before for Notre Dame. NC State's players have. Perez can't hit the jumper. Miles, the get-ahead for Citron, and it was a little too dangerous for that moment. Notre Dame turns it over. Six turnovers in the fourth quarter for Notre Dame. Winner will play the winner of Connecticut and Indiana. That game up next on ESPN. Great feed. Kunane couldn't quite handle it. And it's out of bounds to Notre Dame. Still to come today on ESPN, 4 p.m. We have Tennessee, Louisville, 6.30, South Dakota, and Michigan. The Women's NCAA Championship Sweet 16 today at 4 and 6.30 Eastern on ESPN and the ESPN app. Two-point game. Citron being guarded by Brown Turner. Draws two. Mabry was open in the corner, but no angle for West Bell to get it there. Here's Miles, five to shoot. Miles looking to find some space. Oh, what a find! West Bell lays it in! For Miles to have the exact pulse of the clock on that possession, knew she had time to deliver it! 13 points, eight rebounds for West Bell. 19 points, six assists for Miles. Brown Turner didn't get the roll. Dodson came over, maybe got a little piece. I think she did. She already had three blocks thus far today. And now Miles calmly walking it across the timeline. Miles trying to work Crutchfield. Get some space. Fires. No. Rebound. Bounces around. Brown Turner after it. Has it. NC State with the ball down four. Diamond Johnson on the bench right now for NC State. Reina Perez operating the point. Perez zips it out. Kanane. Crutchfield, she got it. How clutch is Kai Crutchfield? That's why they call it what, right? Crutchfield. Two-point game, 14 for Kai Crutchfield. Olivia Miles directing traffic. Here comes Mabry. Under two minutes to go. Miles into the lane. Cups it up in. No angle too difficult for Olivia Miles. Four-point game again. Crutchfield a three. No. Rebound Jones, which is left alone. Miles standing there watching Kayla Jones put it back in. Two-point game. 1.15 to go. Miles through the double team and a timeout taken 
by Neil Ivey. Looked like Miles might have had a lane to the rim. Instead, timeout Notre Dame with 1.13 to go, and the Fighting Irish leading by two. Especially for a young player, Olivia Miles has such a great sense of time as she comes in and delivers the dime perfectly. And then Kai Crutchfield coming off the screen. I mean, she has been so impactful on both ends of the floor. Hey, big girl, I'm going to go buy it, and I'm going to go buy everybody else and score. Wow. What a game for the freshman. Notre Dame with one foul to give. NC State with four. NC State has the possession arrow. Plenty of timeouts in both teams' arsenal to be able to navigate down the stretch. Remember, Miles did get a cup of coffee with Notre Dame last season when incoming freshmen were allowed to begin their collegiate careers a bit early, but her status is still as a freshman this year, and she has been terrific, 21 points, six assists. Here is Mabry. Into Miles. Kanane came with the hedge, got back to Dodson. Miles, two point game, under a minute to go. A trip to the Elite Eight on the line. Miles, a three, no good. Box out Kanane, NC State a chance to tie or take the lead. Incredible box out by Elisa Kanane, allowing her to get that board. Perez. Over to Jones, Kanane, one on one. Kanane for the tie, she gets fouled by Dodson. It will be Dodson's fourth, and Kanane, an outstanding free throw shooter, will have two to try and tie this game. Lisa Kanane has looked like a senior on a mission here all game long. Mom watching, Kanane has the first. My stomach hurts for her mom's stomach. <laughs> Kanane has been money at the line. Six of six today. Misses that one. Dots in the rebound. And a timeout taken by Notre Dame. As mom deals with the stress and the drama. Notre Dame's lead is still one. <laughs> That's every mom's reaction. <laughs> so Notre Dame with the basketball. Now, Rebecca, this is interesting. When you look at the clock, there's a five-second difference between the game and shot clock. NC State still has four fouls to give. Is that enough of a difference for them to play straight up defense here against Notre Dame trailing by one? At least initially, initially for sure, because they've been able to wreak havoc. You've got to give them opportunities here to try to wreak some havoc, at least at first. NC State has not been to the Elite Eight since 1998. They are one in 13 all time in Sweet 16s. Meanwhile, it's been a real quick turnaround for Notre Dame. After a 10 and 10 season last year, they're right back on this big stage in year two under Neil Ivey. Citron will inbound. Has to get it in, it's off of Westbelt, or is it? They're gonna take a look as Jones was there. They will review who this hit last and whether or not this might BNC State possession. And of course, the call on the floor, always so important. Call on the floor was Notre Dame ball. Is this going to be Last clear? Play is under review. Clear and conclusive, right? Karen Priato, Roy Gobain, William Smith, now are officials today. You think about it, Rebecca. It has been a game without many stoppages. Initially called out on Kayla Jones. I'm not sure anything there is going to change the call. Let's see. My guess is that's going to remain as it stands, Rebecca. What do you think? There's nothing clear and conclusive to, to overturn it. It's the right hand of Jones coming through. The left hand of Westbelt on the ball. 
at the review, at the review, play stands, Notre Dame ball. All right, Rebecca, so Notre Dame keeps possession. They had trouble with the inbound there. Interesting. Now, the shot clock didn't start, but the game clock did there. And now they're going to put the clock back to 34.7, so that's why it was at 35. So 34.7 up from 33.9. Citron, get it in. West Bell, surrounded. Able to shake free for a moment. And a foul is called against NC State. And look, Rebecca, to your point about the strategy, they have so many fouls to give here that they can just be extraordinarily aggressive going for a steal, knowing they need to rack up those fouls anyway. Citron dumps it in, knocked out of bounds by Perez. And it's going to stay with Notre Dame. How about your Notre Dame? You have a freshman as your trusted inbounder here. In the backcourt, Miles comes to get it. Nearly had it taken away by Crutchfield. Citron gets it across with Miles. Mabry dancing away. And that's a stone. of NC State's guards on the defensive end has been the story here in the fourth quarter. Perez getting the pick. They had patience, didn't go immediately for the fouls because they believe in themselves defensively. Wow, as soon as Mabry turns, Perez is right there. Notre Dame has not trailed since early in the second quarter. And Wes Moore has seen his team overcome a double-digit deficit. Reina Perez with NC State's 12th steal of the game. And now Notre Dame, Rebecca, uses its final timeout. And number one, they've got to make sure they can inbound the basketball. They've had a tough time here the last couple of times on the sideline getting a clean look in. Of course, you would expect them to get the ball to Olivia Miles. I would come up and set up an on-ball with your big and then let her go to work. 13-4, NC State run to take the lead. And remember, NC State still has fouls to give as well. Here is Miles, down one. Miles, with eight seconds left, Miles. Double West Bell for the lead. No rebound. Perez fouled by Notre Dame. 1.5 to go. NC State on the brink. Notre Dame gets a great look. Two goes to Miles. West Bell, the clean look at the basket. Wes Moore feeling it. And remember, Notre Dame is out of timeouts, so they cannot advance this. Perez hits the first. Two-point game. 1.5 to go in the fourth. Perez hits the second. Three-point game. Just time for a heave. Here's Citron, does she get it off? She does not, that's it! For the first time since 1998, NC State is elite eight bound.
State outscores Notre Dame 20 to 10 in the fourth quarter. And no play bigger than this one as we take a look at our Capital One rewarding performance. Reina Perez just waiting to see if Mabry will turn. She does. And able to pick the pocket and finish the other way. What incredible defense once again in the fourth quarter and a comeback by NC State. Unbelievable comeback down the stretch. NC State using defense to get it done as they advance to the Elite Eight and we send things over to Holly Rowe. Well, I think NC State knows a little something about survive and advance. You had to survive this. How did your defense change the tone of this game down the stretch, Kai? I mean, it wasn't even just my defense. You know, we, we came together as a team. We knew what we had to do, and we executed. These were clutch moments. You get the steal, you hit the three. How are you able to be so comfortable right then? I mean, you said it, just being comfortable in this moment. I mean, it's March. My teammates believe in me. My coaches believe in me. My family believes in me. And I know we were able to knock it down. All along the way, people did not believe in you. They thought you were too small, but you never gave up hope in yourself. Reina, how did you get that steal and that go-ahead basket in that moment? Defense is all about heart. I mean, I just, I knew we were down. I knew we needed a steal, and I just tried to lock in. You have to step up. First, you get the rebound on this end. Then you step up for free throws. How did you be strong in that moment? I mean, we do pressure free throws all the time. We practice this. I knew I could do it, and so I'm, I'm just so happy I knocked them down. You got eliminated in this round last year. Why did you refuse to let that happen today? It's a hump that we had to get over, and I mean, the girls are determined. I'm determined. We made it happen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. What defense down the stretch for Kai Crutchfield and Reina Perez as NC State conquers the mountain they couldn't a season ago, they are headed to the Elite Eight.